Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Burkett? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Here. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Stanger? Here. Councilmember Quinn? Here. Madam Chair, we have a quorum. Thank you. I move for approval of the journal of the meeting of September 17th, 2013. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Excuse me. Motion carries. The journal is approved. Bid openings, we have no bid openings this evening, so we will move to communi communications. Under communications, Madam Chair, there are no tax compromises this evening, so I move to zoning matters. Under zoning matters, item number one, third district. Receive and file. So ordered. There's nothing <coughs> under road and bridge matters, so I move to other communications. Under other communications, item number one, all districts. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number two. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation and that will be the order. Item number three, fifth district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number four, fifth district. Receive file and the agreement be approved as recommended. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, fifth district. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number six, sixth district. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number seven, fifth district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number eight. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Uh, there are no add ons this evening? No, ma'am. Uh, Mr. County Executive, any report? Madam Chair, no report. Thank you. There are no reports of uh, special committees this evening, so we move to the public forum. We have three speakers who have signed up, and uh, I ask that you please keep your comments to three minutes. And the first speaker is Lynn Link. much work on, in Oakville on this. If, if there's anybody that has any question about anything about National Church residence or the facility or anything, let please please be sure to ask me because we have the answers and if we don't, we'll get you the answer in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Over the past few months, our committee has given the county hundreds of pages of information which clearly shows that the only possible course for the county is to revert the rezoning of the property at 6050 Telegraph Road. This building uh, is going to set a precedence for unsafe building practices in the county by ignoring their own safety rules and recommendation. Mr. Stenger, we ask that you put this matter on the agenda for a vote and at least allow the fellow council members the opportunity to distance themselves from this looming disaster. Council cannot rely on the commission's <coughs> recommendations of 8513 for two reasons. The first reason is that the rec recommendation is complete as it did not review the vital information with regard to the issue of sinkholes, nor did it address the findings or proscriptions of the county's own Oakville community area study. We have given the council this information which shows that not only the development of this property goes against every USGS recommendation for the proper land use in a heavily karsted area. Um, the recommendation is also in error as it relied on the information set out in NCR 729.13 letter to the commission which referred to the findings of the market study and or certified market analyst 
which contained multiple errors with regard to lot size, description of the adjacent property, the details of the PMA, as well as Oakville's need for the low-income senior apartment. Our committee has given this information along with U.S. Census information, which proves our findings. Additionally, this misinformation will provide a defense against any lawsuit that National Church residents may attempt to bring against the county on the basis of detrimental reliance. Even the capital advance agreement, which was given to the county by NCR, we feel requires further federal investigation. Again, the council members, we feel that clearly you need to distance yourself from NCR, and the only way to do that is to revert the rezoning of the property. The county has allowed this building to be the closest to an adjacent property, to have the least amount of parking spaces per unit, which according to our fire deputy may prohibit him from pulling a truck onto the lot, have the least amount of setback per height, and be the tallest and the only three-story building on the east side of Telegraph Road in all of Oakville. This is directly against your own findings in the Oakville study. <laughs> For some reason, this building was also allowed to be built completely out of wood when the other adjacent property areas in the county were told that they had to use steel. In doing so, the county waived, altered, and or ignored its own safety rules and regulations. And the recommendations in the findings regarding the proper to land use management of its own Oakville study and even ignored the recommendations and prescriptions of U.S. Geological Survey with regard to heavily karsted areas. Ms. Link, you'll have to wrap up. Um, at this time, uh, the county and the county council and the county executive are on the record of having allowed this construction to be unsafe. And to continue it would cause sure danger. If this building is completed and filled with people, someone will be injured or killed. The only way you will be able not to be blamed is if this matter is brought to a vote and you have voted to revert the rezoning. And Mr. Dooley, clearly there's no further reason why you would want to veto this as we have given you a defense. Anybody have any questions? Honestly, I have every information, anything. It, you really... Believe me when I say you want to distance yourself from national church residents. You, any one of these issues, any one of these issues is a safety issue. <clears throat> However, when you put them combined, you're going to not only tempt fate, you're going to ensure disaster. Someone's going to get killed. You don't want me to be here and to have to say, I told you so. You can stop this. St. Louis County won't be sued for detrimental reliance. They have no grounds because you have the defense of saying your market area study on which we relied to initially rezone the property is full of errors and misstatements. Their right. only Ms. ground for Ms. Link, we really need to move Their on. Their only ground for Does, does anybody, anybody have, have any questions? questions? Okay. Thank nobody? you very thank you very really? much. Nobody? No. Okay. Um, Ms. Parrott, Christine? Good evening. Ms. Irby, I feel in my heart and mind that you were the one person on this body for certain who was not originally part of this life. In your statement, you said so eloquently, Mr. Stinger, what's going on? You insisted that this project would be good for Oakville, and clearly now, after you've rushed this through committee and everything's been approved, there's a problem? I have to abstain on this, on this vote until further investigated. You shook your head in dismay and confusion. Ms. Burkett, I believe that you knew that there was a problem with this project, maybe shady at best, back in June, because you were so fast to vote. <coughs> Go ahead with the construction that everyone in that audience, their head turned. That was very odd. The other five of you voted back in June to place this project on hold because you knew then that it was the correct thing to do. Or did you? The past four months, we've given you thousands of pages of documentations of the, showing the imminent dangers of this project, not only to its inhabitants, 
but to our neighbors around, around this project. Were you simply placating us back in June, hoping that your votes would make us go away? Only you know. We implore you, Mr. Stenger, to allow each member of this council the opportunity to distance themselves from the imminent danger and disasters which will most certainly occur on this project by property by rescheduling a vote to revert this zoning. The vote will show two things. First, you need to allow the public to know if their welfare is paramount to each of you or it is not. And second, each of you would have the opportunity to place a yes vote on the record to revert zoning, thus stating your current opposition of this project going ahead now that you have all the pertinent information that we have furnished you. Right now, the record shows each of you in favor of this project, but a failure to legally distance yourselves individually from this project may result in each of you being liable of lawsuits in the future from damages or death of inhabitants of this property. Whatever short-term problems you think you will call, you think this will cause you now is nothing in comparison to the storm on the horizon that is headed your way. Will you, why will you not bring this to a vote, Mr. Stinger? You say that there are not votes, not enough votes. Let your members choose how to vote. Whatever the reason, you need to place this on the council's agenda for a vote to revert this zoning now before someone dies, and they will. There is no possible reason not to revert this zoning. Mr. Dooley, back in June, instead of doing the right thing and temporarily halting this construction, you overrode the supermajority of the council and instructed NCR to keep building in saying, Mr. Unless Mayor, you need to wrap it up. Please. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay. Unless I can ensure that NCR can't sue St. Louis County, I have to let them go ahead. If I had grounds to stop it, I would. If I knew they wouldn't sue St. Louis County and win, it would cost the county millions of dollars. Well, we gave you all the information you needed to mount a legal defense and prevent a lawsuit against the county by NCR. We also gave you adequate information that refuted all of the findings and all of the recommendations which planning and zoning made. It is your legal, ethical, and moral duty to bring this issue to a vote immediately and revert the zoning at 6050 Telegraph Pray Road. I pray that you do the right thing and bring this to a vote now. If I if I can have a few seconds, I have a question I would like to ask each council member. Well, actually, no, this is, it's, it's just strictly public forum. Okay. Um, well, can I read the question and you consider it? Okay. Yes, please, but. All right. Knowing all the information that our committee has given you about the dangers of the housing project located at 6050 Telegraph Road, which you know now include countless unsafe waivers made by planning and zoning, sinkhole and fissure data, geological and topographical instability reports, extreme wind gust dangers and tornado dangers, fire and emergency dangers, the misrepresentation and possibly downright fraudulent market survey information given to you by NCR to get this project approved. With all of this in mind, if you or one of your loved ones were in need of assisted housing, would you yourself consider even moving into this particular facility knowing all the dangers? Or would you move one of your loved ones into this building I don't believe any of you would because you wouldn't want to take the chance of dying and you wouldn't want your mother or your sister 
or your wife or your husband to suffer that fate either. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, before we go to the last speaker, uh, there's something I'd like to say. This three-minute rule that we have is because normally we have a lot of speakers, but this is public comment. It is, this is a business meeting. We are running the business of the county. When the, the leadership asks you to please keep your comments to three minutes, that's what we mean. Now, last week, uh, I, and I really did not want to do it to you ladies, but if you cannot keep your comments to three minutes, then the police officer will escort you back to your seat. I am sorry, that is the rules. And Ms. Parrott, as far as my vote goes, uh, yes, I was the only one that did not vote in favor of bringing that back to the Planning Commission because I knew it was going to cause exactly what it's causing right now. It has been passed by the Planning Commission. It has been approved by this council. That's it as far as I am concerned. Now, Joyce, is it Conley? You're up. This is not a Democratic or Republican thing. Let's talk about Oakville's community. My dad came as an Italian immigrant kid with a family to Oakville in 1959. Um, put 20% down on a house. He was a day laborer, you know, my mother. Paid the darn house off in 15 years. To me, I speak from the heart because this is what Oakville is to me. Um, didn't have school lunch programs then. My mom packed my lunch. I think you get the point. Um, i like to make it clear, Oakville welcomes anybody uh, to come to the community if they can afford the rent or come to the table as a business or a homeowner, put the right amount down, you're welcome to come. You know, I have, I have no problem with that. What I do have a problem with, and I think this is where we part company as this council and me, is social engineering. I have a big problem with this, getting in bed with the federal government, because we know this doesn't work. I'm older than a lot of people, been there, done that, you know. It doesn't work. Um, I remember when my dad, the smile he used to have on his face, St. Louis County was the gold standard. Jefferson County, Jefferson County, you know, you live in St. Louis County. That was, you know what? People don't say that anymore. I'm talking to a lot of people. My husband even works on the other side of the bridge over Jefferson Barracks. This was brought up in the lunchroom the other day about this project in Oakville. And things were said. You know, take it for what, for what it's worth. Um, Friday night, met with uh, the next person that wants to run for county executive. He thinks like me. I think he's honest. He likes smaller government. Um, no offense, but I think we need some changes here. I don't want to live under this regime. This is what I see. That hides things, that uh, tells me who wants to pick up my trash, that wants to build a library where the entrance is... Um, where the subdivision is, I paid for this. I would like to go in the front door off the street. I'm sorry, uh, it's no offense or anything, but I think we need to part ways. And as Phyllis Schlafly said so eloquently of the Equal Forum in the early 90s on KMOX, in the not too far distance future, government will come to your neighborhood and they will dictate to you who lives there. And this has happened and it's sad. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, introduction to bills. Bill number 214, introduced by Councilmember Burkett, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $15,000 from the March of Dimes Foundation, appropriating the same for the Nurse Family Partnership Home Visiting Program, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 215, introduced by Councilmember Burkett, an ordinance authorizing the Chief of Police to donate two old canine kennels <laughs> to the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department. Madam Chair, that is all the bills. All right, perfection of bills. Bill number eight, introduced by Council Member O'Mara. Hold, please. So ordered. Bill number 207, introduced by Council Member Burkett. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I move to perfect bill number 207. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carries. Bill number 207 is perfected. Bill number 208, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move to perfect bill number 208. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. Bill number 208 is perfected. Bill number 209 introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move to perfect bill number 209. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 209 is perfected. <coughs> bill number 210 introduced by Councilmember Burkett. At this time, I move to perfect bill number 210. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Bill number 210 is perfected. Perfected. Excuse bill me. number 211 introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. Take it up. Move for perfection of bill number 211. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 211 is perfected. Bill number 213 introduced by Councilmember Burkett. At this time, I would like to hold bill number 213. This is the bill in regard to the strategic plan for St. Louis County. And I think as most of you know, uh, Mr. Fishesher from the St. Louis uh, County uh, Municipal League was here and uh, sent us a letter with some concerns that they had, and I believe they're meeting this Thursday uh, and then will submit their suggestions to us. So I would like to hold this bill at this time. <coughs> okay, so ordered. Passage? Yes. Bill number 184 introduced by Councilmember Burkett. Please hold, and that will be the order. Bill number 158 introduced by Councilmember Irby for Councilmember Burkett. Please hold and that will be the order. Bill number 159 introduced by Councilmember Irby for Councilmember Burkett. Please hold and that will be the order. Bill number 181 introduced by Councilmember Burkett. Please hold and that will be the order. Bill number 200 introduced by Councilmember Burkett. At this time I move for final passage of bill number 200. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 200, there are seven ayes. Bill number 200 is finally passed. Bill number 201, introduced by Councilmember <coughs> Burkett. At this time, I move for final passage of Bill number 201. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 201, there are seven ayes. Bill number 201 it finally passed. Bill number 202, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. At this time, I move for final passage of Bill number 202. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Sanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 202, there are seven ayes. Bill number 202 is finally passed. Bill number 203, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. At this time, I move for final passage of Bill number 203. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 203, there are seven ayes. Bill number 203 is finally passed. Bill number 204, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill number 204. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 204, there are seven ayes. Bill number 204 is finally passed. Bill number 212, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move for final passage of Bill number 212. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 212, there are seven ayes. Bill number 212 is finally passed. Bill number 205, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move for final passage, Bill number 205. <coughs> Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 205, there are seven ayes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> bill number 205 is finally passed. <coughs> bill number 206, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. At this time, I move for final passage of Bill number 206. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember <coughs> Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 206, there are seven ayes. Bill number 206 is finally passed. Madam Chair, we have no resolutions this evening, so move to unfinished business. 
Under unfinished business, item number one. Hold on the order of business and that will be the order. Uh, same motion through items two, three, and four. Item number five, fifth district. Um, please hold in. We had a committee to hold meeting this evening and had a presentation from um, the highway department and the building department and everybody's going to take time to go over what we were presented and uh, hopefully next week we'll be able to move on. So thank you. Please hold. So ordered. Item number six, third district. Hold on the order of business. So ordered. And Madam Chair, moving on to new business. We have two prepared orders this evening. I move for adoption of orders number one and two. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion, motion carries order one and two are adopted. Will we adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you.